Governor Bernardo Conley of Boya, Southern Cameroons, has made a controversial call to local MPs and mayors, along with councillors, urging them to take an aggressive stance against Amazonia fighters. In a meeting held on September 4th, addressing the ongoing Amazonia conflict, the govern governor suggested that officials should threaten the fighters by reminding them that the government knows their family. Here is the latest. If you cannot face them, they will deal with you. But if you tell them that we know you, we know your family members, they will feel threatened. Okalia told the meeting. His remarks were made in the context of the ongoing struggle to resume normal life, particularly getting children back to school, which has been severely disrupted by the ongoing conflict. Benar Okalia's message is part of a larger effort by the Cameroonian government to curb the influence of separatists, who have imposed a school boycott in protest of the government. The governor emphasized that these fighters have jeopardized the future of children in the region by enforcing school closures, and he stressed the need for immediate action. His suggestion to use threats about fighters' families highlights the increasing desperation of local officials to restore order and educational services amid the escalating violence. The governor's approach, however, risks exacerbating tensions, as it could provoke further violence from the separatists, who have already shown significant resistance to government initiatives in the region. Many schools remain closed due to fear of attacks from armed groups, and the population continues to suffer from the long-standing Anglophone crisis, which has displaced thousands and caused widespread insecurity. Governor Bailai's statement comes amid a broader debate about how best to address the conflict, with some advocating for dialogue and others supporting more forceful measures. His remarks are likely to intensify discussions on the government's handling of the crisis, as local and international observers have called for a more nuanced, and humanitarian approach to resolving the conflict.